O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 30. Driving in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 9, Transportation, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 9.4. Driving in Canada. 9.5. Buying a car. 9.6. Laws related to driving. 9.7. Common Road Signs in Canada In this dialogue, Sadia and Obasi are both at a government service office. Obasi is submitting his driver's license from his home country, while Sadia is registering to take a written driving test for a beginner's driver's license. Sadia and Obasi discuss the process to obtain a license. Sadia asks Obasi if he knows about the signs and the laws in Canada. Oh, hello, Obasi. Hi, Sadia. I did not expect I would see you here. It has been a while since I saw you last time. How are you doing? It is good to see you. I am well. How about you? Everything is good. What are you here for? I am here to show my driver's license from my old country, so I can get a local driver's license that is valid here in Canada. So, a driver's license from another country is not valid here? No, it is not. But if we currently have a valid driver's license from another country, we may be able to trade it for a local driver's license or use it to drive in Canada for a short period after arriving. What do you mean by valid? It means that the expiry date written on it has not passed. Ah, oh, I see. Do you have a car? No, I do not have one yet. I plan on saving money so that I can eventually buy one. How about you? I have been saving up for a while now to buy a second-hand car. Why not a new one? Well, new cars are expensive and I do not think I have enough money for that. Owning a car comes with many other expenses that I need to budget for. What do you mean? Well, there is the cost of registration, the license plate and insurance. Then there is the cost of parking, fuel, maintenance and repairs. If I wanted to get a new car, I would have to ask the bank for a loan and pay interest on it. So, with all the expenses that come with a new car, I could not afford rent and food and other basic expenses. That is why I need to save money and budget carefully. That makes sense. So, what is the process for exchanging your current license for one from our province in Canada. I asked my government-funded organization about the regulations because they vary between provinces and territories. They helped me get an appointment today here at the provincial licensing office. I really want to get a driver's license too, but I do not have a valid driver's license from another country. So, I need to go through the standard application process what do you have to do to start the application process? First, I had to fill out an application. Then, I need to pass a written driving test to get a learner's permit. I had to study the road signs and driving regulations in our province. The exam starts in 20 minutes. Wish me luck. I'm sure you will do well if you studied for it. So... After you get a learner's permit, then what happens? I have to practice alongside a fully licensed driver before I can take the road driving test to get my full driver's license. 
It takes time. Can you take a driving course to prepare for your road driving test so that you can get your full license more quickly? Yes. I will register for a driving course to prepare for the road driving test so I get my full driver's license quicker. How about you? Have you learned about the common road signs in Canada? I know the basics so far from walking around town. I know to walk across at the intersection when only the signal of a walking person is lit and not to walk when there is a red hand signal. Sometimes I see push buttons at the intersection. Do you know what they are for? Those buttons are for visually impaired people. By pressing the button and following the auditory signals, they can safely walk across the intersection. I see. That is good to know. Plus, I noticed vehicles drive on the right side of the road here in Canada. This is quite an adjustment for me. It was an adjustment for me too. I am sure you already know the traffic lights. Yes. I pay attention to the traffic lights around me. A red light means stop. Yellow means slow down and green means go. We did not have these kinds of signals back home. I also learned from my friend what other road signs mean, like stop, animal crossing, school or pedestrian crossing. Then there is also the buses only or bicycles only signs for designated lanes. That is good. But you should know that as a driver, there are a lot more signs to know. Things like slippery road, yield the way to other vehicles, and the speed limit signs, which are in kilometers per hour. There are also many driving laws that you need to know as a driver. Driving laws are strictly applied in Canada. What types of laws? Like, for example, Drivers are not allowed to drive distracted or under the influence of a substance like drugs, alcohol, or medications. Another example is that all drivers must stop at a distance from school buses when their red lights flash and the bus arm is extended. Okay. Drivers must also give way to emergency vehicles that have their lights flashing and sirens sounding. How did you find all of this out? I had to learn all of this for my test. <laughs> but when I first noticed that vehicles here drive on the right, I started researching some of the other differences between driving here and driving in my home country. You did a lot of studying on your own. I hope there is a book I can study. Our province has a guide that helped me study for the test. For example, in my home country, the weather was usually warm or mild. We never have snow. I learned that snow and ice are major driving hazards in most parts of Canada, and that in some provinces and territories, it is mandatory to use winter tires. Winter tires? I did not know that. Another good example is that in the previous country where I lived, only the driver had to wear a seatbelt, and even then, it was not strictly enforced. Right. That is how it is in my home country, too. But here in Canada, everyone in a car must use a seatbelt, whether they are the driver or a passenger. In fact, small children must be seated in the back and in a specialized car seat for their safety. The choice of the seat depends on the age and weight of the child. Small children need to be seated at the back in a specialized car seat. I see. I saw my friend put their child into a special car seat, and she said to me, Do you remember back home? We would just put the babies on our laps and go. There were no special seats for children. <laughs> what happens if you do not put your child in a specialized car seat? 
It is unsafe. The penalties are also costly if the police catch you and you are breaking one of these laws. You not only get a fine, but also higher insurance costs and suspension or loss of your driver's license. It is important to follow all the laws. Did you know all drivers in Canada need to have a valid driver's license and proof of car insurance to drive? It is illegal to drive without these, and drivers must have them whenever they are driving. That is what you were saying earlier, about car insurance being an additional cost to owning a car, right? Yes. You have to pay for monthly insurance to drive a car. And if you have an accident with another vehicle or hit a pedestrian, it is considered a serious crime to leave the scene of the accident. You have to use the emergency phone number 911 to call the police and an ambulance and cooperate with them until everything is sorted out. I see. Maybe I will read more about driving rules here in Canada before I buy a car. I would rather be prepared before I start driving. Thank you for the advice. This was very helpful. No problem. And good luck with your test. Let me know how it goes. Will do. Thank you. End of Dialogue Unit